switch out of that and go to streaming. All right. So, uh, this is my first time actually streaming CDDA. Uh, I have played it quite a bit in the past, but... Oh, wait, I've got some things still going. Let me just fix that. There we go. Um, I've relied on saves coming a lot in the past, but this time around I, I pledge not to do that. I haven't played with Skill Rust before. Should I do Skill Rust? Why not? What could go wrong? So changes. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's it's made me rely a lot on the the whole. I'm just gonna redo that part. But so creating a new world. Let's see what I've got available. Blaze Industries and Aftershock because those are really fun to play around with. Uh, you alright with me using Magicalism? I like Magicalism. <laughs> yeah, the, it, it wasn't so much science as much as it was. Oops, I accidentally ran into a, into a military helipad and got gatted down. <laughs> yeah, I'll add in Magicalism. Let's add in some horrifying things and make the challenge I was thinking of even harder. So I was thinking I might do a, a librarian run, and the idea behind that is that I want to try to collect every single book available. Now that's not hard in, in vanilla uh, Magicalism, because most of the time you can just rush down uh, libraries and book... Uh, book... what is the term? Bookstores. How did I forget stores? Um, but with Magicalism added, it adds in a bunch of scrolls and a bunch of uh, magical spell books. So that's going to make it a little bit longer of a run than just running into the local library and stealing every single book. Let's see. Dark Days of the Dead? No. I want some, some naughty zombies. <laughs> some hulks. Uh, fungal monsters... I think I'll stick with those. Why not? Make the uh, fungicidal medicine more useful. Martial arts, sweet cataclysm, crazy cataclysm. Uh, anything else? Mythical martial arts will add more books to collect, but at the same time, those books are. And again, I'm also adding in Magicalism, so I might as well add on even more annoying things to pick up before my inevitable try to see how many zombies I can kill on the way out. <laughs> so, Bionic Professions is just in there. Blaze Industries for the fun modifiers. Aftershock for the uh, the well, general technology additions. Magicalism so that I can get more books. Mythical martial arts so I can get more books and some strange martial arts. Uh, I think that's all I really need. Mutations by radiation is fine. Size of cities, that's fine. All of these are fine. And you seem like somebody who actually knows about this game. So I don't think I need to go through the, the effects of the various settings. Let's call this... Final book run? Can you see everything alright? It looks like it's flipping off a little bit at the top. I'll have to I'll have to fix that for next time. But for now, this should do. New game, custom character in the final book run. So 
So I'm thinking of starting with the standard uh, survival shelter start rather than going anything uh, strange like going at the start of a lab. Since that will make me die really fast. Multiple pools works. Uh, sheltered. Supplies are running low. Yep. Scenario shelter during stream points. That's good to have. Is this the right one? I don't think this is the right one. Did I pick the... No, right. It's evacuee. Sorry. Uh... They they can be, I agree. They can be some of the easiest starts. Um, but I've also had a lot of really bad luck with it before, where I'll spawn in at, like, a advanced uh, muti- uh, yeah, Sorry. Advanced mutagen start, where it's basically just an empty room when turrets pointed at me. <laughs> it's easy if you survive the, the bottom floor. Uh, should I go with anything unique? I have a soft spot for the Lumberjack since you start with a really nice weapon, but... Hmm. Could start as a wizard and start off with some books, or I could go full on and... There's no librarian? Really? There's no librarian. I was expecting a librarian start. TPM lab technician. Brody demo. <laughs> yes, a demolition expert. Big explosives. Oh, there's. Oh, that's a really good start, actually. Dear lord. Yeah, that makes sense why it costs four points. I've only ever gotten the uh, the face suit once, uh, and that thing is ridiculously powerful. Pseudo vamp. Battery light healer, blood power generator. Oh, so it's basic. Okay, that's an interesting one. Let's go with bionic boffin. What the heck is that? Major international corporation is a representative and technical advisor. Oh. So they're salesmen, but bio, uh, bionically augmented. I think I'll go with the would-be wizard, since that just fits really well, I think, with the aesthetic. I'm going for. Uh, obviously got to boost intelligence. Uh, perception can be higher. Uh, let's go with Dexterity. Yeah, it looks like... It looks like it's getting cut off at the top there. Hopefully that won't be too much of an issue. Not sure why it's doing that. I've got some things to work out after this. Uh... I will have to go with Robust Genetics because I always love to have it. Why wouldn't you take it? It, it, it makes it so that you just better genetic uh, roles. Unless, of course, you want me to pick it, uh, something else. Let's see. Uh, ugly would be the easy pick, but that seems boring. Farsighted, unable to read anything, take penalties on melee accuracy and electronics, tailoring, crafting. Hmm. I think heavy sleeper. Uh, I don't really want forgetful, but fragile isn't the worst to have. Makes you a lot more uh, squishy, but I don't intend to be near enemies. Uh, and skinned. That would stack up pretty nasty. 
Uh, squeamish. Oh, that's actually a lot of points that I've got sitting in there around. Uh, fast learner or fast... Nah, fast reader. It's not a huge benefit, but it's... It's nice to have. And... Swift Humanitarian. Okay, so that's basically just cannibalism. Huh. What's the difference between cannibal and humanitarianism? It's going to tell you that you can't eat people versus... Things that look vaguely human from elsewhere are definitely not people. Oh, so it's like... So it allows you to eat demi-humans, then. So, like, leprechauns and... Mutants. Alright. That's interesting. I think I shall keep the rest of my points for actual upgrades. A little bit of dodging, a little bit of bashing. Uh, I don't need spellcraft. Because I'll just get it while I read the books. Mechanics, some fabrication perhaps, a little bit of electronics. How do I... Right, I need to have higher uh, fabrication, I think. Hmm. Let's see, what else can we pick up? Applied science is nice to have, but I don't really need it. Yeah, I'll pick up Spellcraft. This is a... Not my usual start. Random location. Axel... Auto. Uh... Gender male. Height 175 centimeters, that's fine. Age 25, that's fine. No starting vehicle, no starting addictions. Starting location, random. Yeah, everything looks right. So I'll try not to die immediately. <laughs> I apologize if I do. But I do know at least the basics. I'm nowhere near as good as, as Mr. Barmathrax. But I do know that I can make a couple of slings from the... <laughs> That's not good. Uh, I'm probably going to die very quickly. Where is... Oh, that's why I don't have slings. It's because I didn't finish it. Uh... Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Right, X. Uh, if you're... I'm here because you're the only... Yeah, I did take a look ahead of time to see, because I was surprised that Twitch even had a Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead category. And yeah, I noticed that, yeah, it's only Vormithrax and me at the moment. And I just started. So that thing is going to be busy with these geese. Should be fine. I'll just do it over here and hope. My hope is, is dashed instantly. Okay. I know that it's not going to break through the windows since none of the golems actually break stuff. If I stay in here, I should be safe to start with. I hope. Our friend over there uh, hopefully won't break the windows. And let the thing in. Uh, let's see. I need a screwdriver and a hammer. I need a makeshift hammer. And a crowbar. That would help a lot as well. So in order to make a screwdriver. I need steel and a plank. Alright. 
acquire that with the breaking the bench, I hope. Can I break the bench with just shoulder checking it? Don't have much in the way of strength, so I'm not sure I can. But I can get a stick from up here. Yeah. That works out well. Screwdriver. Right. Metal. Hopefully it can break uh, these lockers. And it can. Alright. And I need a tool with hammering. Alright. A uh, makeshift hammer requires steel and some fiber. I've got string. Uh, yeah, so as my uh, my stream says, I am more than happy to take uh, suggestions, let's call them, as the playthrough progresses. So please, let me know if you want to, if you want me to do something. And assuming it's not something that will instantly end my run, like, go ahead, uh, open the door to that Shoggoth in that, that testing chamber. I will do it. <laughs> oh, by all means, that's fine too. I do intend to put this up on YouTube later on. I'm a little disappointed that my uh, chat widget isn't working. But if you want to explain mechanics, that's fine by me too. Hammer? Uh, I need chunks of steel. I remember that if you break a drain spout, you can access some metals. I think that would be a chunk of steel. The only problem with that is the golem lurking. At the very least, don't have to worry about zombies yet. And peek through. Is there anything of note? There appears to be some... I'm near a... Oh! That's great. I'm right next to a mall. I love those. And a landfill. Sure. So my order of priorities in this right now is to just not die naturally. And... Hello. Good luck, buddy. I... I... Okay. Uh and to try to get a vehicle as soon as possible. I'm sure you're well aware of just how ridiculously powerful those are. Um, I do miss the days where the uh, laser rifles existed as just things that drew power from the vehicle, but I understand completely why they changed that. It was ridiculously powerful. Protein rations, always good to get. This should get me through the start of this. If I even live that long. Pliers, nice to have. I can never find anything that requires bolt training one. Uh, if I can get up on the roof, maybe there's something up there I can get access to. I might also be able to use that clay golem to lead it into town and get it to take all the undead. If I can do that... That's scrap metal. Not what I need. Did, did my friend just jump off the roof? Okay! <laughs> Poor bastard. Uh, yeah, that's what happens when you jump off the roof, buddy. Badly damaged, is he? Hmm. Let's see. I haven't gotten any chunks of metal, but can I make something else? Maybe a crude... No, two by sword. I... Two planks. I got a tool with cutting, so that's good. So if I break down this 
bench, I should be able to make a 2 by sword. Or not a 2 nice sword. Dispose of that. Alright, I got a basic weapon. Is there anything else I can... Chunk of steel or lump of steel? Maybe the computer will be able to provide me one of those. It's a long shot, but once I have the location of where the refugee center is, I don't really need this anymore, do I? Amplifier, plastic chunk, electronic scraps, amplifier. Alright. Let's see if I can break this with a 2 by sword Oh, there's a zombie outside. Oh! Wait, they killed the clay golem? That goes good with his machete. I'm honestly surprised by that. The, those things have tended to absolutely body me at the beginning. <laughs> that didn't work out. Yeah, you go with them. You got this, uh, what were your, what was your name? Zanaya. That madman. Alright. So I think I'm going to try to slip past the town while I can. I see a slime pit up there. The main thing I, I'm anticipating some difficulty finding would be the book on uh, Black Dragons, the one where you get the uh, Dragon Mutagen. I've never actually been able to find that one. It's it's always eluded me, despite my save scumming. I haven't been able to find it once. I'm going to back up. You got this, buddy. Oh dear. There you go. And I can just attempt to put pressure on the wound. Try to. That's uh, not stopping it. I'm uh, not that good at healthcare yet. <laughs> Alright, I guess I gotta cut up some drapes then. Uh, cut up a sheet. I don't want to disassemble it, I want to cut it up. Make some makeshift bandages. Uh, they're already healed. I could use them anyways. Alright. There we go. Can I, right, I need a hammer for this, don't I? I do. At least I got the scrap metal. Uh, I plan to do Cataclysm every Friday, give or take. Assuming this works out. But, uh, every other day I do do Minecraft. I've been running the, uh, SevTech Ages for a while now. Well, for, if you count four days, for a while. Um, I really need to figure out how to get the, the, uh, audio on this. I know that there's at least some method of getting... Uh, soundtrack and noises to go through. I've only ever gotten it to do it once, and it only really worked for gunshots. <laughs> Ooh, a car. Is this workable? It has enough wheels. Its security system is down. It's got no battery. If I can replace that battery, then I could ride this out of here. But at the same time, it's got no gas, or gas tank for that matter, either. Yeah. It's always that first car that looks so promising, and then you realize, wait, this thing has literally no way of going. I am by a lake river of some sort, though. I have heard of the, uh, of boats and how ridiculously useful they can be. I've never actually made a boat before. I haven't really tried to be frank either. Uh, that's a lot of coyotes. 
or coyotes. Uh, south. Looks like I'm going to have to slip out past this uh, small wooded trail. I think that has barriers around it. I hope it has barriers around it. Uh, what's that? Is that formless runes? That's formless runes. I've only ever been able to find laser pistols there, but still, laser pistols are really useful. Energy weapons are nice to have when you eventually get a vehicle that has a charger on it. Uh, it does have a barrier around it, that's good. I can hopefully slip by without much worry of undead following me. Hmm. Shame I don't have any dog food. Is there anything good here? Some steel toed boots are nice. Lab coats, oh. Oh boy. First book acquired. It's computer science. Got anything of interest? You got a lot of dollar bills, and you got a cash card, and a science ID card. That is what I was hoping for. Give me that good stuff. I don't need this money. Most is good for is kindling. Alright. These are some lucky finds. I'll take that. You got anything good in there? Gas discount, cash card, that's what matters. And another ID? Another ID? I'm not going to say that this is a good start, because I don't want to curse it. <laughs> 2.5 liter canteen. That's nice to have. The heck? Uh, another science ID card. I emptied my jeans. Oh, yeah, he's fine. He's gonna be busy. I've never actually seen, uh, Gracchina actually attack me. They always spook me, but I've never actually been assaulted by them. I wonder if they assault players. Uh, I got boots right now. Steel toes are probably better at the moment. I'll just put on those. You got any better steel toes? Actually, I could just steal. No, they're both awful. They're all awful. It's just these ones fit me. Um, that one leads to a boat rental. Yeah, now's as good as a time as ever to figure out how boats work. I might as well take a, a dinghy around town. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Vending machines. One's got something in it. That's good. Need to cry with, though. Hmm. All right. A raft. Hand paddles. Another raft. Canoe. Canoe. Hmm. So if I took one of these canoes into the water, I could start just paddling away. I could see where this friggin' bridge to PEI goes. Can I? Yes, I can. Excellent. Can I go from here? Yes, I can. This is the first time I've ever actually used a boat. Uh, normally I see these boat rentals and think, oh great, there's a waste of uh, tiles. I can drop this off. And now I've got a aquatic escape vehicle. 
That's a plus. And you're just going to go into the water and disappear. Yeah. This feels a lot like just a bike for water. <laughs> it's not exactly an impressive, uh, impressive vehicle. But there's a bookstore. Yeah, you're not going to be able to touch me. Now, when I eventually uh, upload this to to YouTube, I should probably explain Cataclysm, at least to some extent. Uh, Cataclysm is a survival-based game uh, in which you are just some regular schmuck, and the apocalypse has started. Uh, the vast majority of people have succumbed to some sort of strange illness uh, that turns their eyes black as, uh, as night and makes them hunger for human flesh. At the same time, horrors wander the outdoors. Things that make sounds that sound human, but definitely aren't from something that looks human. Um, it's a open source game, from my understanding. It's also... Uh, trying to think of the word. It's... What's the term for it? A lot of people work on it at the same time. Basically, you can add stuff in within certain rules, and they're aiming for the rules of realism. So, there are some things that break the <laughs> slave. I mean, in every way except for the part where it's forced. <laughs> yeah, people aren't paid to work on, on Cataclysm, from my understanding. But... I wouldn't be surprised if some people have said, Hey, can you code this for me? I'll give you X money. Um, is that fish? Okay, that's that fish is not hostile. I know some fish are hostile and will try to bite you off of it. It's a very difficult game to survive in. As I progress in this game, right now it's just... Uh, basic zombies, just, you know, the rules. That they're slow, they're dumb, they don't do a lot of damage, but they can bite you after they grab you. Um, do I hit? Nope, that's just a place where there's no shore. Uh, some fish are hostile, some humans are hostile. That's fair. There are bandits roving. The people who managed to somehow survive the whole cataclysm, uh, or at least the start of the cataclysm. You will come across bandits. They are some of the most dangerous things in the game. Because they have guns. Um, but over time, the zombies will start to mutate and evolve. And become horrific things like towering giants made up, up with bone armor. Or creatures that just disappear into the night. Night stalkers are horrifying. Thankfully I haven't been ambushed by them yet. Uh, further, uh, furthermore, seasons matter, so eventually it'll turn to summer as we're currently in spring. Eventually it'll turn to fall, and then eventually it'll hit winter. And those things all come with their own problem. Uh, I'm tired out. Alright. I will stop driving and read a little to... A goose is attacking me. Uh, as mentioned, the realism thing, uh, geese are kind of flimsy buggers. Not exactly the nicest birds, but I ain't really... It is difficult to talk and not get ambushed at the same time, apparently. Even in a turn-based game. <laughs> I'll just move out to water and... A what? Driftwood coming out of oozing wounds. It moves towards you on a mass of writhing tentacles. Black eyes like the deepest trench of the sea. I'm not messing with that. <laughs> Leprechauns can absolutely body you. I'm not messing with something that sounds like something from a fairy tale. A really... A Brothers Grimm fairy tale, specifically. No. Where was I?
Right, seasons will come around, those have their own effects. You can get infections. Basically, the idea is just to try to make the most realistic uh, game of the undead, where unlike Left 4 Dead, where you basically have a bottomless clip, you're going to have to worry about how much ammo is in your, uh, your submachine gun. The needle and chicken and egg. I hope those are just a reference and not actually in the game. <laughs> Because I would have no idea where that's from and how to deal with it. Uh, lots of swamps. Fair enough. I have this uh, friendly uh, person watching who is apparently looking to watch my attempts at not dying and likely... Horrifying death. <laughs> unfortunately, my uh, chat widget isn't working, so it's, unfortunately, I don't think you can see them. Let's see. So you were saying about chugging fish serum. I think that might be uh, that might be a bad idea, but if you really want me to, I would be happy to do so once I get some. Come a locatha and just dive into the water and forget about the surface. Never come back up because no. Oh, there's a... I didn't notice that. There's a silo up there. I'm going to actually go back to that. In addition to the other realism things, apparently I've just got a gaggle of geese following me now, you can actually get up to high spots and look around and massively boost your uh, visual range. Should be able to park there. Most wild animals can be deterred by shouting, thankfully. I haven't tried that on an owlbear. I don't think it'll work on an owlbear. Let's see what I can see. Very little. There's a used bookstore, and used bookstores are great if you can handle the beasts inside. Those things have what are called crab gecks. I think they're called. Uh, if you've got a gun, you can handle them. If you don't have a gun, it's going to be a pain. I have not managed to kill them in melee yet. <laughs> Let's see what I can find. Right, there's the paddles. Uh, I'm thinking what I can do is once I get a makeshift arc welder, I can then start vehicle, modif uh, vehicle modification. And if I take a either an armored vehicle or some sort of like bus or something, oh, these can... Okay. Okay, so you can actually go on land a little bit with a canoe, but as soon as you get too far in, it's going to have a bad time. That's good to know. But once we, once, uh, once we get a makeshift arc welder, and we can modify vehicles, I'm thinking of trying to make an uh, amphibious vehicle. Because this is actually a really good thing to have, being able to just run onto water and ignore the zombies, for the most part. And I'm kind of curious what's inside that uh, makeshift, or not makeshift, uh, that Dead Sea Witch. So if you notice, there's a little thing to the right over top of the mini-map that says a bunch of different creature names. M249 Autonomous Crows, the bane of anybody who does not have ballistic armor. Uh, I don't have the equipment to handle that. It's a good thing to know that there's a military helipad, but I don't want to be gunned down in a canoe. So I'm just going to go this way. And it's firing at something, so there's probably undead inside there. On the other hand, they're also really useful. Because they drop a ton of ammunition. So if you got something like a M4A1, I think, can handle, can handle that ammo type. Or a scar rifle, you can use that too. 
those work. Uh, then you can just basically ram them like some sort of uh, <laughs> like some sort of idiot and acquire entire belts of ammo. So there's a riverside dwelling. I actually want to check that out and potentially heal up a bit because I don't like having my right arm and left arm most of the way down. That'll do. Let's see what is in here. Car buyer's guide. Might as well read these up a little bit. Some social, some healthcare. I should probably read that first aid book. Anti sports bra t shirt. And nothing else of note here. Why is this door damaged? Makes me nervous. Anything else? I don't see anything else. I'm gonna grab some, not my, not some, but my two by sword, and I'm gonna try to smash that door open. Let's see what I can make with that lawnmower. If I can get a, a weapon with reach, I am pretty well set. Two springs, two blades, one cylindrical cylinder engine. One metal tank, three pipes. I think I could use those pipes to make a crowbar. If I can make a crowbar, I can pry stuff open and smack things with it. I can make a crowbar. Alright. Uh, two blades, two pipes. What can I make with a pipe? So, if I go down and do... C colon blade. Let's see what we have here. A makeshift glaive. That would be pretty nice. I know that. I think that thing has reach. Takes 15 minutes. Could be stored in a spear strap. Won't last long without breaking apart. Suitable space to use properly. Does seventy percent of its normal damage. Okay, to adjacent creatures, it does have reach tax. That is something I want badly. Wait, hold up. Why would anybody have four lawnmowers in their garage? I guess they were really into gardening <laughs> before the end. What the heck? Some springs, which are always vital. They can be made to make, sh or they can be used to make shock absorbers, and those things uh, save you a lot of various solar panels. Uh, glass bottle. I don't need the dollar bills. What's the point of money if nobody's actually using it anymore, right? That I want. Coins I don't. Uh, is there anything else I can use? Not really. Am I getting... I am getting survival off of this. I found a pine cone. Not a lot of survival, but some survival. If I can get enough withered plants, I can make cordage, which could be useful, maybe? I don't know. Maybe. Wild vegetables? I don't trust those. <laughs> Uh, I'd rather not eat some what I think are parsnips and eat hemlock. That sounds like a horrible idea. Um, yeah, that should do it. I got a crowbar to smack things with. Might as well acquire the rest of those lawnmower bits. So, what I'm thinking is, once I get to the point where I need to have the uh, dragon book, 
I'm probably going to have to go hunting for it. And the only place I've not actually looked in is Dragon Hordes. Because Magicalism does add in Mythical Beasts, and one of those is a Black Dragon. They live in the swamps. And they're obnoxious to actually deal with. They have a Fear Aura, which locks you up. They have a bunch of Lizardmen helping them out. Um, they have an Acid Breath. It's basically a D&D &D, uh, Black Dragon. Oh, I'm dehydrated. I should probably drink. Um, and it can very easily just destroy you in a matter of not even minutes. In-game, it would be like seconds. It fears you, it walks up, it bites you to death or melts you with its acid breath. Whatever it feels like. Uh, and the only way I can think of to deal with that is to l somehow lure it out onto the surface and then take it out with a sniper rifle. I doubt I'll get the chance to do that, but a .50 uh, BMG, that thing will take out pretty much anything. <laughs> I hope. I got a pair of science ID cards, a platinum gas discount card. That first aid kit will definitely be useful. But I'd like to... Should I use the bandages? I don't know how many first aid kits I'll come across. <sighs> I think for now, because I'm not hard-pressed to go into town quite yet, I'll just make some makeshift bandages and use those. Because as bad as they are, they're still better than nothing. Yep. Shift. I only need one, two, three, five. So that should do it. Uh, two, three, four, five. All right. 66% health care. If nothing else, one of the main reasons why I, I love this game is just because, unlike most survival horror games, like, let's say, Resident Evil, I have no idea if I'm going to get all the tools I need to actually survive. <laughs> it's a lot more tense. I'm not saying that Resident Evil is a bad game, I'm just saying it's... it. This is a randomly generated game, and Resident Evil isn't. And they have to abide by... That's too much stuff. They have to abide at least somewhat to the rules of game design. Whereas this one is made by whoever feels like adding to it. I don't know, maybe they will re-add in those drones that uh, shoot rockets at you from off the screen. I don't know. Maybe. Uh... So I have no idea if I'll get enough ammo to kill that Hulk over there, or if I'm just dead. It could be either. Feathers are nice. If I... I don't have the strength to pull back a bow, though. Then again, after sh well, the Aftershock bow doesn't actually need ammo, it just needs power. Huh. The, the chicken walker things that shoot off of, uh, that shoot from off screen. I haven't seen them. I've heard of them, but I haven't seen them. Uh, I don't remember the exact name, but those things, from what I hear, would be firing RPGs from off screen and just bodying you the moment you get too close. Uh, yeah, whatever, Goose. I'm really glad that they were removed, but <laughs> I, I've heard of them, but that's about it. Uh, small mouth bass. I'm thinking if I can get a pro fishing rod and a mobile... 
not a mobile, a uh, amphibious base going, then I could theoretically sit on the water for almost forever. Only real problem there would be vitamins. Yeah. What else is along this riverbank? That's a huge dragon. Oh, there's a campsite. A potter's cottage. What the heck is in a potter's cottage? Clay? There's a dog. Uh, what do you got here? Onions. Okay. Chili peppers, broccoli. Oh, so just random stuff. And they're all ready to be harvested. Now, yes, one more thing for the YouTube uh, crowd. Uh, if you're wondering why I haven't uh, grabbed any water from the nearby sinks, the idea is that it's already been shut off by the powers that be. Water's been shut off, power's been shut off. So, nothing's refrigerated. I can't get water from, uh, from sinks in bathtubs, but you can get water from the toilets. As delightful as that sounds. Uh, metal tongs I'll need for later. For metal working, so I don't have to make them. These are... A steak knife could be useful. I'll need to be able to butcher stuff. Uh... Hmm... Candle, that's a very low candle. I've already got a flashlight, so I can just unload that one. A hammer, and a screwdriver. There goes all that effort at the beginning to try to figure out how to make a hammer and a screwdriver. Out the window. <laughs> Battery charger, some paper, permanent marker, a pair of scissors. Hmm. I don't think I'll need the pair of scissors at the moment. Uh, plastic shopping bag, bird eggs, milk. I might as well chug that while I'm here so that it doesn't go bad. Pitbull. Oh, so that's what it is. It's a pitbull mix. I don't think I can get another chug in there. Not without uh, severely weakening myself. Dark coal is nice. Yogurt and pudding. I'll take those. Uh, if you let your survivor get too low on morale, then you can wind up with some unfortunate side effects. Like just deciding, what's even the point of fighting? Or why study? So, definitely want all the, all the benefits I can get. I could always use some cough syrup and some sleeping pills. Aspirin is nice. Antiseptic. And narrow spectrum antibiotics. Better than nothing, I guess. Take this. Alright. Blanket. I'll wear that. Uh, rag. Some salt water? I don't really need salt water, but I might as well. And grabbing some regular water as well. Alright. Let's see, from here... Just, do they have a boat? They have a kayak. I don't know what the benefit of a kayak over a canoe would be, but... Play a bowl, a canister... Hmm... Candle... Lump of clay? Lump of clay. Let's see what's up here. Some wax, more clay... I'll need that for a crucible. A hydria. Hmm. 
Do I want a Hydria? I don't think I want a Hydria at the moment. And some guns. I was not expecting that to be in a potter's cottage. Why would that be in a potter's co I guess because they're isolated. I guess. I think that's the gist of it. And a water mill. Alright. Sorry, pupper. Didn't mean to try to swing at you. Uh, okay. So it does... Hold up, was that? Okay. That little blue arrow I thought for a second was a, uh, was a lab. That would be really lucky to find right now, given my uh, ID situation. Uh, what don't I need at the moment? I guess I don't need my food on me at all times. So I can just dump the protein rations. Since those are... Uh, not gonna spoil anytime soon. Are you just a goose? You're just a goose. I don't care about the geese. They're rude, but... Alright, that fit. I think I'll keep the Ruger on me at all times, just in case. You know? Never know when you're gonna get surprised. I don't know, maybe there's a Hulk in the forest already. You can go there, cough syrup can go there, I don't need heartburn medicine. Antibiotics can go there. Alright. Now I want that kiln badly. Charcoal kiln sounds useful. Same time, that's pretty freaking heavy. Actually, can I make the crucible right now? Very close. Very close. Uh, I don't think it'll fit. I'll just have to leave it here and mark it. Alright. So I think I'm going to go down this way, rather than the uh, other way, since it seems to uh, narrow down into this point. Either it's some sort of like tributary, or some other thing. I'm not entirely sure at the moment. Oh, there's another Paris College. I can actually go up there and see if I can... can actually go up there and see if they have more clay, and if they do, then I can just make the crucible right away. Because a crucible is required to melt down metal, and therefore is required to make anything made of, uh, out of metal. <laughs> yep. Actually, this might even be a good spot to... Rest through the night if I need to. Because there's nothing really threatening up here. It's pretty calm. Do they have a kiln up here? They have a charger. Alright. Do they have guns? They don't have guns. So I guess that was just lucky. Charcoal, some clay jugs, a lump of clay. Alright. This looks like a good spot to set up a base if I was the sedentary kind. What do you think? Decent uh, location to set up a little survival hideout in the middle of the river? Uh, let's see, I've got 19.55 liters worth of space taken up. Alright. Some wine, a beginner's guide to magic, first aid instruction booklet. 
Yeah, there we go. What's the point of studying? Your morale is too low. Yeah, what's causing my mood to tank? Oh, it's because I'm wet. Of course. Be gone. Be gone, goose. I wonder why I'm wet. Maybe it's because I keep jumping out of the canoe into flowing water. <laughs> Let's see. Hopefully this first aid kit will make it so that I can actually heal myself at least somewhat. Oh, and they got a canoe. Can I strap these canoe together? Hammering, bolt churning, yeah, there's the problem. If I could find a wrench... I could take this canoe and basically lash it to my other canoe and make it a bigger canoe. Uh, the, the, ah uh, yes, peak base performance, the Omega canoe. Nothing but canoes strapped to each other and to just one gigantic raft. Like a catamaran, except <laughs> entirely made of canoe. Uh, duct tape, I need that. I can use that to make a glaive. Uh, I don't need marker. I don't need a charger when there's a recharge station up there. What's up here? Quilt, pillowcase and a pillow. A necktie. <laughs> uh, knit scarf, flip flops, a unitard. Andrazi cough syrup. An oxidizer can be used for antiseptic, I think. Adhesive bandages for scrapes and bruises. Or once you get to like nine first aid for <laughs> grievous injuries, you just put a band aid over it. Yeah, I think that should do that when it comes to the uh, looting of that place. I think I will steal this wooden boat piece. Why can I have to shoot a goose? I don't want to shoot a goose. They're evil little buggers, but I still don't want to shoot a goose. I do have that Ruger, though, if I need to. This is why you always keep a, uh, a Ruger on hand. In case of, of goose attack. Uh, wood. Wooden frame. I need nails. Yeah. I could break some doors, maybe that'll get me enough nails. Uh, if I get enough nails, I can hammer it in place. Yeah. Give me them nails. Hmm. So how's your day going, anyways? Some more nails. Let's see what I can find up here. Uh, more nails. Anything here? More nails. I have no idea how many nails I'll need to actually slam that uh, frame in place. There we go. Scrap metal. What, are those just the hinges, or... Like the knobs? Huh. Wait, why am I... Why am I smashing them? I guess for speed's sake, but at 
same time I can actually deconstruct the stuff now. Oh, go away, goose. There we go. It's a decent amount of nails. How many nails do I have now? I have... 76. Is that enough? Is the question. Uh, it is enough. More than enough, actually. Uh... Yeah, front right. Oh, for... Front right. I'm gonna have to shoot a goose, aren't I? Clacky buggers. Eh. I can do some stupid stuff time sometimes. If nothing else, I can practice my combat by trying to smack a goose. Yeah, there we go. There we go, smack a goose. There we go. Yeah, that's right. There we go. In frame. Boat hull. What do I even need to repair these things? Duct tape. Okay. I can do that, I guess. We'll reduce the draft of your vehicle and increase the height sealed against water. If the draft is less than the sealed height, your vehicle will float if placed in water. So what's my draft? Draft clearance 0 0.5 meters to 0.75. Meters. Is that in meters? It looks like it's in meters. Huh. The boat floats. Uh, let's steal the back end. It's not a great back end, but it'll do. I'm not exactly running into a bunch of stuff. Lord knows I've lost so many solar panels by just ramming things. It's a very big juggernaut. I'm just gonna ram that thing. What could go wrong? Suddenly, like, five solar panels just fall off. Uh... I'm gonna have to play real safe without saves coming. Alright. Uh what's the, there's the button for drag. I have no idea what's outside in the air, so I'm gonna try to handle that. Sleep. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to bandage myself. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to shrink the window down a bit in order to get the rest of it in. Actually, I can try to do that while this runs. Give me just a second. Hmm. Let's see. Back up and can I squish? There we go. It's flattening it out a bit, but uh Bit too far. Squeeze it up. 
Sorry about this. I know it's not very uh professional, but I'm hoping to make this a little better. There we go. Yeah, now you can see the health bars. And just how much damage that goose did to my right arm. Oh. Uh, do I have any more makeshift bandages? I have more rags. <sighs> so, for the YouTube crowd, if there is any even watching, um... If you're wondering why I drop my slings before combat, it's because the more uh, stuff you have on you, the more encumbered you get. Uh, and the more encumbered you get, the worse you are in combat, generally speaking. Guns won't care, but I don't have guns. So I kind of have to shoot things. Or not shoot things, smack things. And those require me to not have anything on me, really. And I can stick some hand paddles. Can't I? Add. No, I can't stick any more hand paddles. Why can't I stick any more hand paddles on? Ors? No? Alright. And I get splintered wood from ores, so it doesn't really matter if I break them up or not. Not at this point right now. Uh, bandage. Oh, I can make actual legitimate bandages. Four of them. One, two, three, four. Let's just push this out to sea a bit. Come on. There we go. The janky canoe. I really need that. Okay. I really need that uh, wrench. Though, isn't that always the way it goes? The last tool you need is uh, always a pain to find. I don't know if they uh, lower the spawn rate of that or what, but I don't know why the wrenches are always just the hardest thing to find. Uh, right, there was a kiln in here. No, it was outside, right. Yeah, he's the kiln. So if I go crucible, drop my handed sword, lose some clay and make it absolutely useless. Alright. Uh. I could steal that plastic boat hull. I need metal... Why do I need metal song, of all things, for plastic? It's a rigid plastic sheet. It's... Okay. It floats. It's got a better... top speed. Alright. I suppose I should move on from the cottages. Right. There's my paddles. Once I get some dog food, I do intend to try to tame one. They're really easy to tame, too. You just have to drop it down nearby. Oh! There's a... She's what? Yeah, there's some of the hostile, uh, hostile humans you were talking about. Uh... Why is she wielding a motorcycle helmet, though? 
What's he gonna do? Punch me with it? Uh, okay. We found some zombie soldiers. Uh, what guns do they? They've noticed me. What guns do they have? A Mossberg. It's a solid shotgun. An M27 IAR and M4A1s. A remote vehicle controller. So if I can if I can get those guns, I'll have a pretty solid start. A lot of hearing damage, but a solid start. So if I can lead them away from their weapons and into the water, maybe I can sneak past or at least get them angry at some fish. Not not you tuna fish, but the other fish. Uh... Oh hey, I, I just noticed more people are here. Hello! Welcome to my stream. I'm Axolotl, I mostly play Minecraft from Monday to Thursday, but I'm playing Cataclysm on Fridays. Welcome! Uh, how do I... there we go. <laughs> Let's see. If I can get those guns, then I can just... If I can get those guns, I have enough ammo to take on maybe a few zombies. Not enough to take on a full one, though. Hmm. I wish these geese would leave me alone. Let's see what I can find. I've anchored the horde. And run right into the bank. Let's just move this. Let's get out of here. Okay! Uh, what can I do at this point? I've got two zombie soldiers coming at me. I gotta get back and hope I can knock them away. Unless. Nope. Well, it was a good try. <laughs> uh. Well, that happened. I guess. Yeah. So, that's the first death. It's not the worst way to go. It's a... Hmm. Even the geese are after me. Wow, they put aside their differences. The beginning of the goose zombie alliance. Uh... I guess I just need to make another character. And leave this one to the fate that it that has befallen them. Poor bastard. Well. <laughs> thank you, Ido. Uh, the first... It's a real shame I can't go, Oops, that never happened. Save scum time. Uh, don't... Wait a second, what? What was that achievement? Don't... Don't drive a limousine, become it? <laughs> uh, so yeah, for those in the YouTube crowd, that's a good example of how this game is brutal. Well, time to build another librarian to try to pull this off. I'm thinking maybe an animist build would work better. Because those animists start with the ability to summon the undead that are on their side. They're not permanent, but they are there, and they will distract the undead for them, they will uh, attack for them. That might work. 
Plus, you get some nasty spells. I've seen... I've done a little bit of GitHub diving uh, to look at the code. Oh boy, they got some nasty spells. Ah yes, I'm just gonna rip the soul out of this monster. Yank. Uh, let's see, where is it? I know it's somewhere around here. The only downside to being a, um, to being a necromancer is that most of your spells use your health. And that means that your bones are nearly broken pretty much the entire time. Uh, yes. So I want to be fast reader. And I want robust genetics. Because robust genetics is always great. Um, and for those, of, for those of you who have only recently joined, uh, the idea behind this is that I'm trying to do a librarian run, and what that means is that I'm going to try to pick up every single book in the game. Uh, you might have noticed that there is mythical martial arts from the fact that you can get Pokken as a, as a fighting style. Um, and there's magicalism. So in addition to all the vanilla books that I have to find, I also have to find the various martial arts books and the spell scrolls. Well, not the spell scrolls. I just need to find an example of every spell. So it's going to be a bit of a an attempt. It's probably not going to... I'm probably not going to finish it because I'll probably die before then. But that's the attempt I'm trying to do. Uh, and part of the reason why I died so easily is that I was fragile. Fragile, heavy sleeper. Um, do I want farsighted? Yeah, I'll grab farsighted. Uh, skills. Well, I've got spellcraft right off the bat, so that's a plus. I don't actually need to pick up spellcraft because it's really easy to grab. All I need to do is read books on spells. Heck, everything is just leveled up by reading books and doing things. Um, mechanics. Yeah, I want mechanics. And I want electronics. If I pick it up again, do I get that? No. Fabrication? I know there's a way to make a makeshift... Or to get access to the makeshift arc welder early. Makeshift, 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 welding tank, by crack, charcoal forge, improvised barrel bomb, qualitative, quantitative, scissor jack, no, nope. mechanics, uh, water purifier, vehicle controls, no, nope. no, maybe, micro motor, hmm. Interesting. X-ray laser barrel, yes. That's the thing I think of when I think of somebody who's got training in fabrication. Ah, yes, I can make a, a, a laser barrel that makes the, the laser go through walls and people. And a little bit into dodging, because dodging is dangerous to level up. Axle bottle. Uh, everything seems to check out. Alright. Let's see. Okay, that's a lot of protein ration. And I need some slings. Hopefully we don't have another golem sitting outside the window this time around. Because that was fun to see just outdoors. Anything I can see? Oh, oh! Am I right next to a? I'm right next to a library, and a <laughs> helipad. Okay. Okay. This is fine. Uh, an animal pound, some housing, a gun store. That's dangerous to go after. Another house, a military surplus store up here. Another one. A bank. 
I've always I've always liked going after the banks because you can find some weird stuff in there, but I never find anything that adds, that actually helps me in some way. It's always here, have some fancy jewelry, gold, silver, clockworks. Stuff like that. Apartment tower. There's the downstairs. More rations. Clean water. And a gas... Oh, a gas mask. That's actually really useful. Let's grab that. Because if I can if I can get some... Uh, cartridges for that, then I can just run through any toxic gases I find. And, I, if I remember correctly, it also makes me immune to disease. For some reason. Something, something environmental protection. Uh, nothing up there. The... Uh-oh. Is that fung- it's fungus. Right, I need to get out of this area real fast. Ugh. I- I also normally play around with the uh, no fungal monsters on, because those things are, uh... They're not great. They expand at all times. They spawn monsters at all times. And they give you infections that basically break your arms constantly. Not something I want to deal with. Plenty of first aid though, that's good. I need to escape this area ASAP. Uh, and that goes right into... Uh, I need to... I have to go through here. I can't go too far south otherwise I'm just gonna get shot. I just gotta hope that fungaloids are going to be around to soak monsters. Hit some but Oh, hello! My audio works, if nothing else. Oh, that's why nothing's showing up. My sincere apologies, friends. Let me just do... Th no, that's the avatar capture. There's the cataclysm capture. Sorry, some behind-the-scenes shenanigans. Also, hello, new friends. Welcome. We are doing a librarian run of Cataclysm. Uh, I'm trying to pick up every single book in the game, along with some mods that add even more books. I need to drop my branch, and then I can summon it. I can't summon the zombies fast enough. I'm probably going to die again. Poor, poor fool. Ah. Uh... I should have put something down there. Apologies, I'm nowhere as good as the other guy currently streaming, Mr. Vormithrax. <laughs> so I'm going to die a lot in trying to pull this off. How did I ever get surrounded by such undead neighbors? Impenetrable. Judge me by my size. Nine lives. Oh, those are probably... All right. Those are probably all, uh, mutation things. Spelunking a lifestyle, not a hobby. Yeah. Uh. My apologies if I die multiple times before I actually get any good start. Aside from that first one. That first one was a good start. Starting off near some some scientists that were already dead, so I just picked up their IDs. Near a boathouse that I could steal some boats from. Uh, let's just rebuild that last one. Traits. Uh, fast reader. Robust genetics. All right, uh, there is Heavy Sleeper, Farsighted. And Flimsy. Not Flimsy, sorry, Fragile. 
That is... Oof. 25% lower than usual is not actually that bad, actually. Never mind. I'm going to scale this back a bit to flimsy. <laughs> uh, that might help. Uh, let's go with mechanics and fabrication. How far do I need to... What can I get if I push it all the way up to 10? You just... Yeah, Alright! That's a lot of stuff you get from it. And how far do I have to push this? Fabrication. Some dodge. Some mechanics. Alright. Everything looks right. All right. Uh, uh, how far away is it? That pause is what's... That pause tells me pretty far away. How far away is it? Uh, what's it called again? Not makeshift. Shelter. Nope. Contact us. Refugee center. Refugee. Okay. Mark the refugee center, but you have no idea how to get there by road. Center. Okay. Fair. So it's very far away is what I'm getting from that. Uh, terrible shriek. Why am I hearing shrieks? If I'm hearing shrieks, that might mean... That can mean a few things. That means there's a shrieker nearby. And if there's a shrieker nearby this early in the game, literally starting, it's probably a lab. She's wearing a lab coat. Protein ration, clean water, another gas mask. That's good to start with. Uh, what else is there? How many first aid kits can I get my hand on? One. Two. Some more rations. A burnt out candle. That's not going to help me at all. Ah, let's see, what else? More rations. That's good. I know the last build I did was a... Uh, dodgy mouse build, which was really fun just because of how ridiculous it was that you would basically just dodge literally everything that comes your way except bullets. Oh, there's a little lake behind. That's nice. Or I guess a pond, sorry. Lakes are their own thing. Some oversized crows. Oh, there's another river. I might be able to do the boat shenanigans again. If I can do the boat thing again, then I could potentially try to make the Omega Kayak again. No, it's a 2 by right. 2 by sword. Drop the branch. A large slug. Oh, great. Where is it? To just wander off? Looks like it went this way. Uh, I'm hoping it's not gonna come up and surprise me anytime soon. Crude sword. Why do I have something with hammering? What has hammering? 
That doesn't have hammering. Nail, long string, medical tape. Hmm. What? What do I have that that has hammering? I might as well read that first aid book now rather than later. Ugh. Oh, there's the slug again. Where's the slug? Okay. It's not what I expected, but okay. I don't know, I think that's a worm rather than a slug. What's this? It's got, it's got fuel. It's got battery. No wheels. So it has an M240. Is the M240 loaded? So, oh, it's actually in good condition. That's surprising. And it's not loaded. Well, I got my hopes up. I will mark that down. If I can get access to that armor plating on a... I wonder if I can armor plate a boat. <laughs> oh, the most heavily armored kayak in the world. It's this little little dinghy with like three massive chunks of composite plating on it. Uh, if nothing else, I'm pretty sure that, that Jaws couldn't take on something that uh, well armored. A singular's oh, it's one of those sites. I'd I'm not about to disturb the dead, but it seems like the dead are coming to disturb me. There we go. First zombie killed. Ugh. Come on. Can I put pressure on the wound? I guess I just have to bandage it up. I don't have any rags on me, so... A decent bandage, uh, a decent bandage will do. And you got nothing. Uh, I think this is a boat rental. I'm gonna go for it. It looks like the the general structure of a boat of a boat rental. Spores. Spore cloud and a fungaloid. Of course. Unfortunately, I can't deal with those right now. Otherwise, I'd pull out a flamethrower and blast it. Ugh. Grody things. It's got wheels. It's got a battery. It's got a gas. No security system. Okay, that actually is good. I can drive this thing. That's surprising. Okay, I will avoid that spot. I've been blown up by mines before. I'm not going to do it again. Not great as spoiling. Alright, let's go this way. Oh, that's much too much speed. Just came in there at full ramming speed, dear lord. Let's see. Yeah, that's a boat rental, and summer's worth. Hmm. Uh. Can I get around it by just stealing the canoe and running away with it? Because I don't want to get close to those things. I can't steal it. 
I guess my attempts at amphibian escape is being denied for now. Uh, what do I need for it anyways? Hello! Thank you very much for following Fallout Gut, and I am Omnivore. I think I need to scooch the alert box. No, not that. The alert box. Down a bit. Can. Nope, not that. I'll have to fix that. I've got a lot of stuff to fix after this. <laughs> oh, now it's too low. Why is it too low? Oh, not that. I apologize. There we go. I must admit, you guys are the, the first people who've actually watched my stream, so <laughs> I've got a lot of things I need to I need to fix. Alright. And if I can just drive this way. What is that tea there? Is that a fungal that's a fungal bloom. Alright. If I go through Summersworth, I might be able to find something of use there. And hopefully not... The mo Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, I, I had to make it myself. <laughs> uh... And yeah, practice does... Hopefully it will make, if not perfect, it'll make it decent. <laughs> uh, another minefield, really? That's interesting. Uh, a derelict property and a dirt mound. Dirt mounds, if I remember correctly, tend to have insects. And lots of them. If I can avoid... I really hope they're not dermatics. Change the font size for CDDA. So like, uh, make it bigger? Right now it's small and Twitch compression kind of blurs it. Yeah, I noticed that uh, while I was starting this up. Although I couldn't actually... I tried at first to, to widen it out. But that just widened out the spacing between the, the letters. So uh, after this, I, I'm going to have to mess around with it and see if I can thicken it up a bit. Maybe I can change the font to something a little bit bigger. What's that T? That's a t lookout tower. All right. Is there any... Hmm. If I go left... There's a decent chance of something being there, and I can't drive forever without running out of gasoline. But I do need a North Texas post his font settings, which seem to work fairly well for him. If you don't like that, mess around with it. Fair enough. I will definitely look into that. Thank you for letting me know. I am still very, uh, very new to streaming in general, so I'm sort of feeling it out. If I'm sure, I'm sure you noticed that the uh, alerts and follows have not shown up over top of the gameplay. And I think what's happening there is that it's just a bit too high. So I'm going to have to fiddle with that a bit. I've got a lot of stuff to mess around with after this. Uh, biscuits? Eh, yeah, biscuits. Uh, pot. Soy sauce and ghee. Both are good. Does ghee ever go bad? I noticed that it says fresh, but it I've never actually seen ghee go bad. I, th If I had to guess, it's just got such a long shelf life that it's not going to go bad within a uh, time period that you'll actually notice it go bad. It's like you'll, you'll use it before you actually have any chance of it. Oh, Computer Science 101. I actually really need that. 
Oh, so it's like, it's sealed freshness. Is what you're saying. Yeah, it's sealed. Good to know, thank you. So, if I were to make ghee, then I'd have to worry about it going bad, but until then, I should be good. Uh. Oh, an iron golem. Please don't go near me. <laughs> I'd rather not get absolutely bodied immediately. I think... This house has been looted relatively decent. Yeah, it's been looted. Alright. So now that I've got a car, my main goal is to acquire a lot of gasoline for it. Me prying and screwdriving. I can probably... No chunks of iron there. Or steel. Or I can just smash it. Or not. I guess I'm not smashing it. Uh, a pot. Some scrap metal. Sheet metal. Chunk of steel. That's what I was hoping for. I'll steal these as well. I can't steal them all. Uh, hammer. I need stop branch, some strings. Alright. Right, I need to break down the long string. Put down and start working. Hammer. Uh, there we go. That's done. I can pick up my sword again. And screw a branch and some duct tape. Or string. Screwdriver. Alright, I got the basic tools. Store an inventory, a nail. Let's grab those nails in a long string. Uh, break down the sheets. Rags and short strings. Alright. And I need something with prying. I th think I could get some pipes from something here. Maybe from breaking this? Maybe. Maybe it'll let me break it. Or I can just deconstruct simple furniture. Uh, yeah, that'll work. Crowbar. There we go. Basic tools. And now I can break down this fridge. Okay, let's close the doors. Iron golems are not nice. I don't have to worry about zombies, but no. Uh, there's the rubber hose. Chunk of steel, condenser coils, scrap metal. How do I want to do this? Right. I'm a necromancer. I forgot. So if I do this... And then I have to draw blood from somewhere. Uh, let's grab it from my arm. Wield the hose. You guys got this. I hope. More zombies. Ow. Uh. Eh. Just throw zombies at it until it goes away. Maybe some necrotic gaze? Too difficult. Come on. You can do it, zombies. I, I hope. Uh, we have the hose. If nothing else, those zombies will be able to distract it, hopefully. What can I drop off? I guess I can drink some water and eat some 
biscuits to open up enough space for that. Uh, actually, the chicken would probably be better. To open up space for that uh, hose. I hope. Drop that. Okay. Uh, right, it has a failure chance. Yep, you got this, guys. I believe in you, zombies. As distractions. <laughs> Run away. And there we go. Escape complete. Uh. I should probably put on some bandages now that I'm in relative safety. So, I need... I'll use some gauze. That'll work. For my arms. My poor cut arms. Adhesive bandage, head. Adhesive bandage, torso. Alright. Hopefully that works out. Ah. Uh, uh, is it out of gas? No, it's just a random failure, I think. Yeah, random failures. Concerning. Alright. I'm hoping I can find a... This is just a far-out hope. Something that I seriously doubt will happen, but I'm really hoping that a uh, large garage will uh, show up on the outskirts of a town. Or even in a town. I might be able to sneak in if I use my uh, my undead friends. What is this? An irradiation plant. Okay! I'm turning around now. <laughs> Guns! Guns aren't something I want to tangle with yet. Hmm. Let's see where I can go from here. Hmm. Now, I do want to eventually reach a point where I can attune myself uh, with magicalism because you can I know you can basically get prestige classes I just haven't ever managed to figure it out yet I hear that if you get two spells from two classes to level 15 then you can attune this is a bad idea I'm turning around and going right back in there uh there's the town nope 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 nope, nope, nope. All right, I don't have enough time. Uh, run away! I can make another cruise sword, but I can't make another torso. At least I can drive and put pressure on the wound. Vantage wounds are... <laughs> yes, the vantage wounds heal. They healed. Unfortunately, there's, like, a few new bites. <laughs> uh, I've got bandage on my head, I've got bandage on my torso, I've got bandages on my arms. As required. I wonder if I can also make... Try to set invalid ammo 40mm EMP for belt 40mm. Alright. I have no idea what that means, but whatever. Bugs happen. 40 by... F oh, it's a grenade launcher. I have no idea what HEDP means, but if I take it off, it'll probably tell me. And I need Mechanics 3. 
All right. Maybe it's like high energy density projectile. That sounds like what it would be, but I don't actually know. Let's see what I can find in here. Eleven circuses, the baker's companion. The companion. All about swords. That's a really good find. If I remember correctly, that trains sh uh, sharp weapons. Slashing weapons. Uh, computer Science 101, Computer Science 301. Might as well read these so that I mark them as, yes, I know what these are. And I have them. Wine making. Alright. Let's steal more books. Uh, Eleven Circuses, All About Swords, Break a Leg, Essential Oil Enthusiasts. This is good for the science. Uh, that should be good. Oh, so, yeah, cutting weapons. And applied science. I wonder if I can get... I can get ethanol. I can get a, a makeshift essential oil extractor. A filled small vacuum under uh, oven. Small closed loop extractor. Large closed loop extractor. Quantitative filter paper. Recovery pump and plastic gaskets. Hmm. Filtered high quality crude oil. Where would you find crude oil? I'm not sure if it actually means like fossil fuels there or if it means something else, but. That'd be wild if you could actually refine your crude oil into fuel. Hmm. Let's see what I can find. Eleven circuses, break a leg, swashbuckling novel. I've got enough uh, trunk space, I might as well start my collection. Let's see... Oh... What's in this? An extinguisher. Sure, let's put the books with the extinguisher. And this. That goes there, 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 there. What I need is a frame so I can repair my door. I don't like having it just stuck open like that. Hmm. Oh, milk. I <laughs> might as well drink all that. I'm not going to stay uh, fresh for long. Plastic bottles. Chunk of meat. I don't really have any way to store that, so I'll just leave it there. Some pasta, though. That's always good. Unfortunately, uh, I am going to have to cut the stream once I've dropped off these things as I do have I have some other stuff to do but I hope I was at least somewhat entertaining uh, you guys definitely helped me out a lot by showing up because I had no idea these issues were a thing so I gotta spend some time fixing them um, let's drop these off some rations I don't need the food on me or the water And the gas mask. And I can leave one of the antiseptics here, because I don't need both antiseptics. Yeah. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, this is my first stream with actual people around. Hey, thanks, Beans. You seem cool, too. Uh, <laughs> I stream from Monday to Friday. Monday to Wednesday is, is Minecraft, so... Up to you if you want to watch that. I totally understand if, if, you're, if you're not showing up for that. Um, I do have a YouTube channel. Currently only have Minecraft videos up on there. But I do plan to upload this to YouTube as well. And I plan to make Fridays uh, Cataclysm Days. Uh, hopefully I'll have everything fixed by Monday. 
hopefully. Uh, I hope you all have a great day. And thank again, thank you very much for watching and following. I'm going to check that real quick. Thank you very much for following Beans anytime. I apologize that the uh, thing didn't show up. But have a great day. Uh, I'll see you on Monday if you show up. Bye-bye!